This is Roger Del Martin, Avengers. Today we're going to talk about how to succeed with a band. We're going to talk about how to succeed at running that spiritual race. So grab your bass guitars, grab your thinking caps, and let's do it. your band succeed. All right, right off the bat, here's, here's the tip I'm going to give you. Be different. Be a little bit different. What sets you apart? You remember the Beatles? What set them apart? They had that long hair. Wow. All of them set them apart. The Beatles. Cool. Okay. What set Vengeance apart amongst these all these plethora of Thrash metal bands. We played the blues in thrash. Unheard of. Most thrash was uh, basically um, uh, something, it definitely wasn't a major scale, and, and they just kind of had their scales, they just were stuck in. Well, we threw the blues in there. Several different places. Right off the bat, let's look at the Devil's Interval, okay? Remember, uh, the Devil's Interval was in uh, the bridge section of I Love Heading Evil. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. And this is the F, F sharp. Uh, this is F sharp, and this is the C. Okay. Here's the Devil's Interval right here, F sharp and C. All right. <clears throat> Basically... <clears throat> Here's the Devil's Interval, remember? Ugh. Okay, well, what's crazy about it is, is the Devil's Interval is in the blue scale. So why not take the blue scale and put it in thrash? I don't know why nobody ever thought of that, about this before, but we, we thought of it because basically we are blues. Me, Doug, and Larry, <coughs> we played the blues, we listened to the blues, well, we were blown uh, with the blues, okay? So it's natural for us not to just uh, we're, well, we're going to sound like everybody else. No, we want we want to throw our uh, take on it, and that's my uh, that's my uh, tip. Be a little bit different, okay? <coughs> so, what we wanted to do is throw the blues in this in this lick. For okay, what made that bluesy? It was that, that very last note was the G, which is the third fret, first string, the E string. That's the G. That's the G. At the end of this lick on the, on the bridge of I Love Hating Evil, we're going to bend that G up. That's a blues move, okay? Uh, <clears throat> you know, if you listen, see, I'm bending that G. pull off, okay? Because I'm grabbing it and I'm just pulling and bending just a little. Here's a hammer on. Here's a pull off. Hammer on, pull off. We're pulling off that too, bending it up and pulling off a little bit. Now, Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin. He was famous for using blues in his music uh, and his solos, and the whole band was a hard rock blues band. He used the G one time to, to start a famous song called Heartbreaker. Fabulous, okay? He started off the very first note as a G note, just like what we're playing, and he bent the crap out of it to get that blues feel. Uh, let's go ahead and play this lick just like Jimmy Page, only he's playing the Les Paul 
I don't play in the precision, and it sounds like this. You see what we're doing here? Bending that G, just like Jimmy Page. Slick, sneaky, yeah. All right, let's talk about succeeding at running that race. Okay, when you're running a race, you're gonna have to need fuel. Fuel for the fire, okay? Uh, we eat for fuel, and we eat the Word of God. We read it, we feed on it. That's how we succeed at running this race. My tip is to find one part of the day that you can always set aside to read that scripture. Okay, for me personally, I like early in the morning, as soon as I wake up, okay? I don't wanna grab my cell phone and check the weather. I don't wanna grab my cell phone and check my email. I do not wanna grab my cell phone and look at Facebook. Last thing you wanna do, okay? What you wanna do, Maybe make coffee, because if you don't, you know, if you need some help waking up, make you some coffee, I do. Get in there with that word of God right off the bat, and it's the first thing you're thinking about. Boom. Get your head right. Get your heart right to start this day. Oh, makes a big difference, okay? Pray. Read that Bible. Man. Live it. All right, homies, that's, that's it for today. You know I love you, and you know I mean it, and you know I don't want you to go with change, and actually I want you to change that heart. We're going to get closer and closer to the Lord Jesus Christ. That's our goal. We want to be like him. That's, that's our goal, okay? All right, folks, next time we're going to take it another level, and we're going to get hardcore. Yeah. See ya. Boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo.